What a 24 hours it has been for Manchester United fans. First, the surprise sacking of Jose Mourinho after Man United's 3-1 defeat to Liverpool at Anfield. Less than 24 hours later, the confirmation is in. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has been appointed as Manchester United's interim manager with Fergie's former assistant Mike Phelan alongside him as assistant as well as Kieran McKenna and Michael Carrick who were assistant managers under Mourinho. Wow! Speaking about his appointment, Solskjaer said, Manchester United is in my heart and it's brilliant to be coming back in this role. I'm really looking forward to working with the very talented squad we have, the staff and everyone at the club. And speaking about appointing Solskjaer, Woodward said, Ole is a club legend with huge experience both on the pitch and in coaching roles. His history at Manchester United means he lives and breathes the culture here. And everyone at the club is delighted to have him and Mike Phelan back. We are confident they will unite the players and the fans as we head into the second half of the season. What a 24 hours it has been, really. You know, for a club where I considered this season, I suppose, a write-off, really, all of a sudden now we've got Ole Gunnar Solskjaer in charge, a legend of the club. And maybe we can turn things around in the second half of the season. I have to get one thing out of the way. I have to say one thing. Solskjaer is my single favourite ever United player. You know, when I was 10, he was there making history with Manchester United in the Camp Nou on that night in 1999. And over an 11 year period, the baby-faced assassin was my favourite player and he still remains my favourite player. And the most important thing you've got to understand here about the appointment of Solskjaer is that it's an interim basis. Solskjaer isn't qualified to be Manchester United manager in the full term, but given that what we've just had under Mourinho, all we need now is six months of fun. That's really all it is. It's six months for the club to regalvanise its image, to refine its focus, to get the players playing how we know they can. And who better to do that than Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, a player who was there under Fergie's reign, and a player who did it all, and then Fergie's assistant in Mike Phelan. The partnership on paper seems a perfect way to galvanise this squad. And now it doesn't really matter what happens for Manchester United between now and the end of the season because for a lot of fans it was a write-off anyway. All it is is an opportunity for the club to reset, just like Gary Neville said it needed to be, and I agreed with him, to reset, refine its values, start playing the United way again, so that when the new manager comes in, he's coming in into a club that's far more stable, that he can see what the image of the club is, and that is what Solskjaer's job is, and I think he's going to do it. Solskjaer isn't going to create a new dynasty at Manchester United. He's going to hopefully help re-establish it and make sure that whoever comes in next, whether that's Zidane, Pochettino, whoever's next, that they've got the right state of Manchester United to walk into. And I personally think it's a fantastic appointment. And I've watched United over the last few years make the wrong decisions very slowly and very painfully. But in the last 24 hours, Man United have acted decisively by sacking Mourinho and decisively by bringing in Phelan and Solskjaer within the space of 24 hours. And for the first time in a long time, I think the club has a plan now that they're going to be working towards for the next six months to get that appointment right. Because this is just as important as the appointment of replacing Fergie, which we fucked up so much with David Moyes. We can't afford to do that again. But let me know how excited you are. Solskjaer is back at the club. You can't not be excited. Cardiff coming up first. His former team wasn't very good at Cardiff, but United are a different kettle of fish. Solskjaer was our manager of our reserve team for a couple of years. Worked with Popper, worked with Lingard. Scored over 100 goals for our club and helped us win the treble. Ole is back. How are you feeling about that? Let me know in the comments below as always. Hopefully going to try and do a video tomorrow on sort of what tactics can we expect from Solskjaer? What sort of formation can we expect from Solskjaer? That'll be interesting to look at. But if you're new to the channel, subscribe to United People's TV. Take it easy.